what evidence is there from the research you two have been doing that a robot can do something better than a human could in terms of helping us develop or become better people? So that's a very popular question. And I think if you talk to most of us who are actually working in this field, we're never striving to do things better than people or to replace people because there's really an ecosystem of what people need and it's not populated enough. So the goal is not to be like a human, like a human caregiver or a nurse or whatever a human needs, but rather to be something else, a companion that fills the gap of what's missing. And so we find that, that, that people will ascribe um, personalities and beliefs and emotions to robots based on what they need. Mm -hmm. So there are different roles that the robot can play, but the roles are not typically replacing what you already have. Hmm. So Maya, I uh, wonder if you could take a minute and tell us about some of the robots that you've built, and we have some photos of them as well. Like, what have you found robots can help people with? So our goal has been actually from the start, um, when I started this field of socially assistive robotics, the idea was to use social interaction to assist people, to really help people who have special needs. And that the spectrum is huge, whether you're talking about kids with autism, all the way to people with Alzheimer's and everything in between. Um, and so our goal has really been to see how do people interact with these robots and then what needs are met. And we have found that social robots can get children with autism to show their first social smile, to talk more, to engage more, to initiate play. We have found that patients with Alzheimer's will actually perhaps think that the robot is their grandchild and, and be so happy that this child is coming to visit because I'm sorry to say the real grandchild isn't coming to visit. And so oh. people will ascribe the roles that they need. Um, and we have not seen fear, we have not seen rejection, we have seen this empowerment and that's what we're going after. 